6 Pro which is a very uniquely styled e-bike has a really weird looking frame but I like it I think it's kind of different it does fold the folding mechanism is something to be desired but I'll show you that later in this video I reviewed the K6 about I don't know eight or nine months ago and I really really liked it. It was a smaller profile than this So the K6 had like smaller 20 inch rims with smaller tires. So they were like 2 inch And the K6 Pro has 20 by 4 inch Which I would say is probably the best option We'll get going fast here in just a second. I believe it is currently unlocked. We'll see. top speed this is a fairly flat road which is the one I always use on my testing that's pretty good 29 miles an hour I say anything 28 and above is is a a good good happy medium to everything and this bike is super solid very easy to ride very good ergonomics the handlebars are almost in the perfect position they swoop back slightly like not they're almost straight but they bend a little bit the grips uh, i would definitely swap those out in the future and uh, it does have trigger shifter but the weirdest thing ever and i was talking about this in my other video bikes that have trigger shifters usually have left-handed throttles this bike has a right-handed twist throttle. It is kind of uncomfortable because when you're twisting this, your thumb rests on the trigger shifter, which I love trigger shifters. And I'm getting used to this. I think if I wore gloves, it probably would help a little bit, but if you prefer a twist throttle, uh, this might be a good option for you because it's, it's really nice. It's got really good components. Um, they are standard components. They're not upgraded or anything, but they are not the cheapest components you can get. So it's nice to see they actually improved and added different features to this bike. So I would definitely call this a pro version of the K6. It's got nice Logan hydraulic brakes. So... They have really good stopping power. <laughs> uh, brake test in a future video. 
but it's got a headlight that looks like a motorcycle headlight with LEDs. It looks really cool um, with the halo during the day. I'll get some footage of that in a bit. And then it's got a horn, which is built into the headlight. And it, I like the, I like the noise of it. It's pretty loud. I would probably still add a bell on here just so that you can, if you're on like a bike path or something, you can ring a ding ding so that people know you're coming. But overall, the uh, full suspension does have uh, front shocks that are adjustable and have a rebound adjustment, compression and rebound. It has a rear shock, or it's more like a mid shock. That is pretty standard on a lot of e-bikes. A lot of, uh, I would say that's probably a basic part, and maybe in the future you could upgrade that to a better spring or shock. But this bike is super comfortable to cruise around on. It'll climb hills really good. We'll, we'll make it there. I'm going right now. Just trying to get deeper into the neighborhood so there's not so many cars and I can concentrate on talking to you. Whew. 100 degree heat is, is not it. I don't know how far we're going to make it today. Gotta go fast to cool off around here. I would not be surprised if the GoPro dies. I think it's 110 heat index today. Doesn't feel too humid, so it's bearable. Sometimes though, in Missouri, it's super humid, 100% humidity. It's super hot out. And it's just like you walk out and you're sweating to death. Today's not one of those days, so gotta take advantage. I need to ride as much as I can with all of these bikes I'm getting, right? So this bike did come unlocked from the factory, so you can hit almost 30 miles an hour with throttle only. We'll run out of room here, but 28 is a good speed. We have been riding around for almost three miles, so batteries diminishing a little bit. We did start with a full battery today. If you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure you do. You can see all the new e-bikes I'm getting, all the new things that are going on in the background. I post lots of photos and Instagram stories there, so make sure you follow. It's at Randy R for Randy Rides, like the channel name. The tires do have a pretty cool sound to them. But they are loud, so people can hear you coming. I guess that's a good thing, right? Sounds like an airplane. <laughs> All right, here's a, about a 5% grade. Pretty long, though. We'll do this throttle only. Oh, no, we won't. Okay, throttle only up this hill. I don't usually ever meet any cars at that point and I'm usually out here in the evening time anyways I probably should have waited but I was ready to go 10 miles an hour pretty good speed wish I had a mirror I need to maybe attach one to this helmet I don't know yet you know, with all the different e-bikes I ride, I definitely need to get something to uh, be more permanent for every bike. <laughs> and I think a helmet mirror would be the best. 
All right, we're hitting about a five or six percent grade here. I can't remember what it was, but sort of steep. Now I can only do rides like this in 100 degree temperatures right now because of this helmet I got. It's a Bell Super 3R with MIPS. It's pretty much like you're not wearing anything. It's so light. Uh, full protection from your face. And just um, a really, really cool helmet. Super comfortable. Allows me to mount my mic right next to my voice so you guys can hear me right next to my mouth. And I wanted a camera kind of mounted outside of my helmet too so I could get the tire noise and the, and the motor noise. I was watching somebody on YouTube the other day and they kept calling it an engine. I'm like, no. Well, it kind of is, but not really. It's an electric motor. But I understand what you're saying. <laughs> All right, we're going to start using pedal assist and uh see how well this does the pedaling i know we're gonna ghost pedal once we get up into the higher speeds but we're on gear eight and we're ghost pedaling already at 25 miles an hour definitely sounds like a jet coming down the road kind of looks like a jet kind of cool looking all right enough pedaling too hot for that let's throttle <laughs> this thing sounds so cool when it spins up like that I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it makes a really high-pitched noise like the motor's winding up or something. Not really sure. Very interesting. So far, it doesn't sound like my camera overheated. We've gone seven miles and it says we are down to three bars out of five. But you really can't go off of that. The only real true way to, to check your battery percentage is checking the voltage on the battery itself, which I have a multimeter, but I don't have it with me. So if we do a proper range test on this bike, I will take my meter with me and we'll check it on and off. Let me know if that's something that interests you. I like this part right here.
All right, well, that was just a quick ride on the EUI bike K6 Pro. Folding and fat tire, e-moped style, sort of folding. 25 amp hour, 48 volt, 1000 watt motor. It's got a lot of specs. BMX handlebars. Nice Logan hydraulic brakes. I like it. If you're interested in seeing more about the K6 Pro, go down and hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified when I upload. That way you can see my next videos on this bike. I am going to be making a full review of it, so stay tuned for that. If you have any questions about this bike or anything else e-bike related, go down to the comments section and I'll help you out. And until the next one, thanks for tuning in to Randy Rides Reviews. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.